More than a million tons of yogurt is produced every year. Though it's been around since ancient Mesopotamia, the popularity of yogurt has grown rapidly in the last 30 to 40 years, making it a popular breakfast food. This is primarily due to its image as a low-fat, healthy food. But how is this delicious and creamy delicacy made? The process begins with the reception of milk from dairy farms. This milk arrives at the plant in refrigerated trucks. This is done to maintain its freshness and quality by inhibiting microbial growth. Once the milk arrives at the plant, its composition is modified before it is used in the production of yogurt. This is done through a series of steps, the first of which is called standardization. This process involves reducing the fat content and increasing the total solids. Not only does this improve the nutritional quality of the yogurt, but it also increases the stability and makes it firmer, reducing the tendency for it to separate on storage. The fat content is reduced by using a standardizing clarifier or separator, a device that relies on centrifugation to separate fat from milk. From the clarifier, the milk is placed in a storage tank and tested for fat and solids content. For yogurt manufacture, the solids content of the milk is increased to 16%, with 1 to 5% being fat and 11 to 14% being milk solids that aren't fat or SNF. This is accomplished either by evaporating some of the water or adding concentrated milk or milk powder. After the solids composition has been adjusted, it's time for pasteurization. This process comes with many benefits. First, it kills all microorganisms that will otherwise interfere with the fermentation process further down the production line. Second, it will denature the whey proteins, which give the final yogurt better texture and consistency. Finally, it helps release the compounds in milks that will stimulate the growth of the starter culture. Pasteurization usually happens in large stainless steel vats, where the milk is heated to about 85 degrees centigrade and is held there for about 30 minutes. While the milk is being heat treated, it is also homogenized. Homogenization is a process in which the fat globules in milk are broken up into smaller, more consistently dispersed particles. This produces a much smoother and creamier end product. In commercial yogurt making, homogenization has the benefit of giving a uniform product, which will not separate. Completing the process is cavitation, in which vapor bubbles are created by a sudden discharge of pressure. Within the bubbles, the fat droplets crash against the vapor walls and disintegrate, ensuring that the fat is completely broken down. When pasteurization and homogenization are complete, the milk is transferred to a large tank of several hundred gallons. In the container, the milk is cooled to between 109.4 to 114.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 43 to 46 degrees Celsius, and the fermentation culture is added in a concentration of about 2%. It is held at this temperature for about 3 to 4 hours, while the incubation process takes place. During incubation, the organisms known as Lactobacillus bulgaricus interact with the milk and convert it into a curd. They also change the flavor of the milk, giving it the characteristic tangy flavor we've come to associate with yogurt. The primary byproduct of the fermentation process is lactic acid. The acid level is used to determine when the yogurt fermentation is completed. Factory workers usually do this by taking a sample of the product and titrating it with sodium hydroxide, a value of at least 0.9% acidity and a pH of about 4.4 are the current minimum standards for yogurt manufacture in the United States. To modify certain properties of the yogurt, various ingredients may be added. To make yogurt sweeter, sucrose sugar may be added at approximately 7%. For reduced calorie yogurts, artificial sweeteners such as aspartame or saccharin are used. Cream may be added to provide a smoother texture. Furthermore, the consistency and shelf stability of the yogurt can be improved by the inclusion of stabilizers such as food starch, gelatin, locust bean gum, guar gum, and pectin. These materials are used because they do not have a significant impact on the final flavor. For frozen yogurt, after the yogurt base has been prepared, it undergoes a freezing process. This typically involves using specialized equipment, such as commercial ice cream machines, which freeze the yogurt while incorporating air to achieve a light and creamy texture. The yogurt is carefully transferred into various packaging formats, including individual cups, larger tubs, or pouches. 
The choice of packaging depends on market preferences, shelf life requirements, and the intended use of the product. Containers are sealed to prevent contamination and to maintain the freshness of the yogurt. Labels are applied, providing essential information such as expiration date, nutritional content, and brand details. Packaged yogurt containers are stored in cold storage facilities to preserve quality and safety. Consistent temperatures help slow down any residual bacterial activity, ensuring the yogurt reaches consumers in optimal condition. Milk products such as yogurt are subject to a variety of safety testing. Some of these include tests for microbial quality, degree of pasteurization, and various forms of contaminants. The microbial quality of the incoming milk is determined by using a dye reaction test. This method shows the number of organisms present in the incoming milk. If the microbial count is too high at this point, the milk may not be used for manufacture. Thankfully, most harmful microorganisms are killed as a result of pasteurization, but their presence always remains a risk, particularly when pasteurization is incomplete. Therefore, the degree of pasteurization is determined by measuring the level of an enzyme in the milk called phosphatase. Governmental regulations require that this test be run to ensure that pasteurization is done properly. Beyond microbial contamination, raw milk sourced from farms is subject to other kinds of contaminants, such as antibiotics, pesticides, or even radioactivity. These can all be found through safety testing and the milk is treated accordingly. There it is, the fascinating process that results in the production of yogurt. If you are wondering how beer is made, another product that's made thanks to fermentation, check out our video.